Oh boy, sorry for how I sound in this video. I actually have the Rona. <laughs> I've gone, oh gosh, when did it start? What year are we in? Did it start 2019 or 2020? I don't know. I haven't gotten coronavirus because I don't do anything. Uh, I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. My workplace is a lab and a hospital, so we don't come in contact with patients or <clears throat> other people generally. We're all introverts and scared of everything. <laughs> so, uh, I feel like I got hit by a truck. And I have both vaccines and the booster, and I still feel like I got hit by a truck. <laughs> I'm on day five. I'm on day five of being sick, and I still feel terrible. And... And I had no content. It was funny. I had too many videos before this. Like, I had too many to post. And then I got sick and I realized I had none. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <clears throat> so, my voice is just, it's dead. And so, we're going to keep this really short. But, luckily, I was able to finish one of my audiobooks because I could do nothing else for the first two days I was sick. So I listened to and finished the audiobook for Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. And you know what? This was a surprise. This was kind of like a... I'm a huge fan of video games and I'm a big fan of watching horror video games. I'm too much of a coward to play them myself. So I watch uh, Dead Space playthroughs. They're so much fun. Um, and the aesthetic and the synopsis, I was like, this sounds like Dead Space. So the book follows our main character, Claire, who is the, like, captain, I guess, whatever, of this little ragtag team. They're about to be finished with their, like, space mission. Everything is in space. Uh, they're about to be finished with their space mission and are about to be Earthside, and Claire, our main character, has got a rough past, and she doesn't really have high hopes for her future like she's probably gonna get stuck on earth and that is freaking her out but before they can make it back to earth they come across a lost cruise vessel think the titanic but in space and this thing has been missing for years no sign of crew anything no one has survived from this it just completely went missing so they decide hey we work for a corrupted organization like they already know it's corrupted that's the funny part like you don't you don't go into this thing this is a good corporation no they're like this this our corporation sucks so let's find some blackmail <laughs> and get money from them uh and make sure that they can't kill us for finding this thing uh because obviously something went wrong so they decide to board the ship and find some undeniable proof that they have found the ship and they're going to basically like send it show it to the press and then their corporation can't do anything they'll be the heroes for bringing everything home they'll cover whatever happened on the ship and and the crew will get a big payout for it so that's what they thought they were gonna do of course nothing is as it seems and once they enter the cruise vessel they realize that something seriously wrong has happened on this ship it is classified as a horror and I would agree that it's horror to me it is sci-fi horror and I gave it a four out of five stars I was very excited because it went exactly where I wanted it to go which was really cool I was afraid like there was like a path it could take there was a path it could take and I was afraid it was gonna veer off and I wanted it to go this way and it it seemed like it wanted to go the other way but it went the way that I wanted I was very excited about that. That's like the first time ever that I'm like, I want this to happen and it actually did happen. <laughs> so this book is really neat. Claire is a really very deep, interesting character because she's got a lot of guilt. She's got, she lived through a previous disaster that happened at the company. So she's got a bunch of guilt, but she's got great survival instincts, which definitely helps her in this story. And it's, it's kind of interesting. So I listened to this on audiobook. The narrator is really good. I will say she can get a little like whiny at times, but I feel like it matched the character when the character was having issues. She's also a really complicated character because she's dealing with hallucinations 
before getting on the ship and just some complicated psychological stuff going on and you're trying to figure out what exactly is she dealing with like what really is going on in her noggin and it's just very fascinating to follow her perspective and you're also following two different timelines although the current day timeline is much smaller until the end so the so the book is kind of like I wouldn't say halved, but it's kind of like in two parts. So first part is told in two different timelines. It's her and her crew in the past discovering the the ship and then her being the only survivor talking to uh, two agents from the corporation trying to figure out what's going on. And it's really neat. And then the second half of the book is... I don't really want to like ruin it but the second half of the book takes place just in the present and that's all I'm going to say about that but that's that part of the book was so good and that's where I wanted it to go I was worried it wasn't going to go to the second part of the book but it does and it's really good it's really good and it's really interesting because the synopsis I think on Goodreads is like Titanic meets The Shining I don't know if I agree with that there is a romance but I feel like the point of the Titanic was the romance and that is not the point of this book absolutely not i feel like the aesthetic the aesthetic is titanic and they should have said that but i feel like it's more aesthetically titanic aesthetically dead space um psychologically maybe the shining yeah yeah and then uh some resident evil big corporation vibes I feel like it's the best way no zombies or anything like that if you're if you're like triggered by zombies and stuff, no there's nothing like that in there because that's what I was afraid of I was afraid there was gonna be zombies but no um literally only Resident Evil because of big corp like it definitely feels like Umbrella Corp is the same as this type of corporation where they kind of do what they want <laughs> like they do what they want and they get away with what they want but anyway there were some genuinely scary moments I've seen some I think it's like a 3.8 or something on Goodreads and I saw some people said this isn't scary this isn't horror and I'm like what kind of horror books are you reading that this isn't like even remotely scary to you you're stuck in space on a scary ship full of dead people you're seeing things there's jump scares in a book. Jump scares. Like, I was legitimately, I was like, I was like reading one of these parts and I'm like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I have to keep reading, but I don't want to look at it. Um, like, that's impressive. That's impressive to put a jump scare in reading. Uh, and it legitimately, like, freaked me out. Like, I was freaking out. So, I don't know how people read this and did not freak out. But so I'm curious if you've read it and did not think it was a horror, why you didn't think it was horror? Because I feel like it was pretty plainly horror. I would say the people who should read this are people who are fans of horror. Maybe not like intense horror. Like if you're a fan of like really, really dark horror, no, you're not going to be impressed by this. But if you like horror, if you like sci-fi, if you like fiction in general, if space scares you. <laughs> <laughs> like it scares me you should read this I think you're gonna enjoy it it's really fun it's not too long of a book it took about two hours of the audiobook to like really get into it but once you were into it it did not slow down like it kept going like it was like I did not want to stop after you got like in the ship once you were in the ship it was like this is exciting you also have like a lot of dynamic crew interactions because the crew is so different like there's I think it's like five people or something on the original crew and none of them are similar they are all so so different and it creates such an interesting like environment that they also have to battle because half the battle is people <laughs> so it was just a fun read it was a fun read like don't expect some like deep thing out of the book like you're not gonna get anything like that it's just a fun space book. It's fun horror sci-fi space book. And I really enjoyed it, like much more than I thought I would. Uh, if you guys have read the book, let me know what you thought about it, what your favorite parts about it were. Um, it was just fun, it was a fun book. Yeah, so if you read the book, <clears throat> let me know what you liked about it. 
what you liked about it maybe what you didn't like about it if you didn't think it was horror let me know why you didn't think it was horror um what genre you think if it's just sci-fi because i mean it's definitely sci-fi um that's all i've got i i feel like i've got to film more videos but i'm probably not gonna film until monday because i feel horrible and this is as loud as my voice will go i'm gonna try and make it louder for the video um because i know it's like whispering right now but yeah i'm glad i was able to record this and now i'm gonna go eat a bagel and go to sleep so i will see you guys in the next video